Hey guys, and here to make another video. To make another video, <coughs> I'm be doing another video. This is gonna be a tutorial video. I hadn't done a tutorial video, tutorial video in a long time, but um, basically this is for pa basically beginners at computers and stuff. So if you watch this, it can just help you out. Um, yeah, basically I'd call this basically the the Nate R Tech portion of my YouTube channel. Anyway, so this video is how to make a Outlook Outlook email account on your PC. Um, basically, f that way, because a lot of people need emails, you know, for stuff to store their information, be able to message other people, emails, other people's emails and stuff like that, you know. But, um, so yeah, and, uh, another thing. Also, you can use it towards getting free, free, um, s food at fast food restaurants and stuff like that, you know. And you can probably use it for, like, what was it, uh, gaming accounts and stuff. Alright. So first, you just want to go to Outlook.com. Type Outlook and then search it. So you're going to assign to your Microsoft out, out Microsoft account. All right, so that's loading up. But uh, and I'm thinking, yeah, it's opening mine, I'm, I believe, because I'm thinking I'm signed in right now, and if I am, yeah, I am. I'll just take and sign out real quickly. Right, there we go. Okay, hold up. Okay, so this here is what it should bring you to now, but that doesn't bring you to when you click on the thing. It doesn't bring you to your email account yet, and so when I set one up yet, it brought me to mine just because I'd already had one logged in, you know, and I had to do a jump cut because I had some technical difficulty. It was fr computer was freezing, bunch of other crap, but yeah. All right, so don't do any of this where it says sign in unless you've got your account made. What you do is you go down and find a button called create one. Click on that. Now it should load. Now it says create an account. So first name, you just put your name. I ain't gonna put mine, so I'm just gonna put a bunch of random words. Same for the last name. You can also do this too, you don't even have to now. This is what you gotta memorize right here, okay? So this is what your email thing is going to be called. So when you sign up on pages and stuff or stuff and ask for your username, which is your email, you put this in, and you also got to put at Outlook.com. So I'm going to put J-K-L-G-H. All right. Is that all right? So, yeah. And you put your password. Now, August, something. Just put random. Just put random words, but don't put if you're even if you're, if you're a kid signing up, put don't put your real age because it it they'll charge you to take and um, sign and move it and stuff. Then you put a random phone number. I'm just gonna put four five six seven eight nine eight four five two. It's a random number. I don't know. I never put my real number. Now I gotta do CAPTCHA. Don't. Tap where it says semi promotional offers from Microsoft. Don't do that. Alright. So, mine, you know, yeah, you just do the cat the chia. You gotta look at it really closely. It can be pretty hard to do, too. I'm not, I'm not, going, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. There we go. Just a little bit of AVAS popping up. But now you click on when you got all this done, everything filled out you need to do. And the alternate email address, you don't have to do that. Remember that. Now, when you get done, the cat chia. Click on create account. Bam. Now you click on remember if it, if it pops up for you. So that way you don't have to put your password in every single time because it, it can get annoying, you know. All right, and it, it, it has set it up. It says creating. Now it brings you up to here where you set this up. You select your time zone. You know me, I'm Eastern, so. <laughs> All right, and you click once you put your time zone. You click on save. Now it says open in your mailbox. Okay, so there we go. You got you an email. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was really helpful, and I hope you have some good luck with your new Outlook.com email account. I got my Alec is pretty high quality. I guess it's because it's connected through Microsoft, you know.
because I don't I don't really prefer Yahoo. You know, I used to have that crap. It wasn't that good, really. It had it had a big glitch in it. It'd get laggy or something. I don't. Know. I think they patched it. I'm not sure. But yeah, so anytime you take a sign on page to put your email, they'll send you emails that'll come up in your inbox. Anytime you want to click on your inbox and you're like, let's say you're on junk email, and you got you get something, click on inbox. All right, and make sure you always go to the upper right corner. If you're not getting stuff, make sure you click available. Always do have that on so you get your fangs. Now, if you don't want anyone want to get something, I'm thinking you just put a peer away. All right. All right. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope it was really helpful and help y'all out. So that's about it for this video, y'all. Well, guys, been Nate R, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.